very very simple just if you can get the concept this is the telefly osd which will actually work with the auto antenna tracker and this is very simple red and black power to the osd go all the way all right and they're actually sharing the power here you can see black and red at the same time this black and red going all the way to the video transmitter and from this port black and red also going to the camera so this is very very simple for us to understand that black and red okay black and red are shared with the camera video transmitter and OSD now according to the OSD features video in goes all the way to the camera so the camera video out comes to the OSD video in OSD's video out goes all the way you know to the video transmitter this OSD also use audio data cable audio cable to send the data for the GPS for antenna tracking and this video uh, audio cable goes all the way to the video transmitter also so you can see okay now this ground here which was originally for camera I just forget it because my camera ground is connected here in the center so this is basically looking very confusing and I'm sure I will lose some of the beginners here but once again let's quickly do a review the two cables very important black and red so this is the power so what we are doing is black and red go all the way to the black and red of video transmitter to power the video transmitter black and red go all the way to the camera to power the camera black and red come all the way to the OSD to power the OSD this is how I'm sharing the power now camera video out yellow cable goes to the video in of the uh, OSD and OSD's video out goes all the way to the video transmitter so the video cable is the yellow cable all right remember that now what left nothing else GPS already connected with its own connections pre-built do not have to worry about that so basically we are working on simple colors yellow black and red in the beginning you just need to remember these three colors yellow black and red black uh, is a ground red is power yellow is video you can share the connections easily red and black for power between camera transmitter and OSD rest follow your OSD's user manual to connect which is video in and which is video out basically you have to work for on one cable that is yellow cable now after connections you can see that uh, I don't have many visible things on this uh, um, JXD screen but you can see the home pointer zero kilometer an hour so some of the screens of the OSD are shown and we can use OSD buttons and you can see we can use OSD buttons to actually uh, move through the OSD menu and configure the OSD menu so I'm gonna go and configure everything and solder all these weak joints and put them nicely into one cable type thing and then put it on the serious plane and then we will see when the weather is good we'll go give it a flight all right then here is the finished system all wrapped up nicely in the heat rings and the electrical tape ready to go on the plane here is my plan to mount the system. I will mount the video TX here on top and GPS antenna on the wing as you can see. Possibly the video TX also can go on the wing. My camera for sure is mounted on the nose and sweet pan. Yes, I can look left and right using my Futaba knobs. Okay, let's look inside. Uh -huh. What? is that mess I know I know and I will put it right I will do something about it don't worry I use this many cables just because uh, these are long cables and I can mount my video TX far 
All right, in coming parts, you will watch uh, safety consideration. We will talk about safety, your first FPV flights, your first FPV challenges, thinking about doing a video series on that to keep you safe on challenges. And if I find time, I'll continue the series to do these. Remember, Alishan now is watching you.